As Rodriguez is the director of Miguel Wants to Fight on Hulu. The, the film is now streaming. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. This is really exciting. Excited to talk to you about the Miguel Wants to Fight. So I read that you got the script and the same day you said yes to the project. Yes, I uh, uh, almost without reading it, just because of uh, the name, Miguel wants to fight. I'm like, Miguel, that means it's a Latino, some kid. So I, I'm almost in. But yeah, I read it right away and just loved it. Uh, really, um, really connected to the story. I've never been in a fight and I uh, love action movies. So it really felt like a yes. Speaking of, of coming of age movies, um, let's talk a little bit about these are the ones that define a generation. These are the ones that we watch over and over again. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk to maybe a little bit about the impact of that and what you wanted to put into this uh, into this film. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, coming of age, like you said, I think uh, those movies are are stand the test of time because kids can connect to the movie. They can see themselves reflected on the screen. But we were all at some point in our lives, some dumb teenagers. So it was really fun to get to do a movie in that world, but do it uh, in uh, a type of story that I've never seen before. A Latino kid wants to get in a fight and uh, I'd never seen that before. So it was really exciting to sort of go into that genre with a different uh, sort of uh, uh, proposal, let's say. And, and speaking of fighting, obviously, you know, there's several different ways that you can do that, whether it might be, you know, someone at school, but we see the main character and his father, who's a, you know, a boxer, who's like, you know, this is the way that I like to fight, you know, maybe mm -hmm. talk a little bit about those two schools of, of fighting where that fits into the uh, into the movie. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all complicated. Yeah, there's there's a lot of fighting in this in the in the movie. There's there's fighting in the streets and uh, fighting in the boxing gym, and then this kid is just sort of stuck in the middle. This teenage boy and sort of like this rite of passage of like, should I be a fighter? Should I get into a fight? Does it mean? Does do I have to? Do I have to do that? Uh, do I have to prove that I that I can do that? Um, so yeah, I think it, it was really cool, just like researching. Uh, you know, martial arts and screen fighting and boxing and just uh, street fights and like sort of getting getting into the differences of it and especially the sport of boxing and how it is, uh, you know, there's an art and a science to it, if you will. And, and let's talk a little bit about the influences of maybe what you watched, what you liked going into it, because we have everything from Bruce Lee to The Matrix to video games to anime. There's so many different versions of what, you know, when you say the word fight, what it yeah. means in someone's head. You know, what were the inspirations that you got for this film? Oh, so many, so many. Uh, yeah, definitely Bruce Lee, but uh, obviously Jackie Chan and Donnie Yen and movies like Kung Fu Hustle and The Matrix. And then as more people started working on the movie, everybody brought their own sort of influences. Uh, at the beginning of the movie, I wasn't even that into anime and now my life has changed. So like... <laughs> The actor and the the crew, everybody brought their own little thing. And I was like, what about this uh, anime called Naruto? And I was like, sure. Uh, so, yeah, it was really fun to like for myself to bring a bunch of references. And then when the whole cast and crew came together, it was really cool to sort of just use everybody's sort of thoughts because it meant that everybody cared. I want to talk a little bit about the the Latin community aspect of, of the movie, because obviously, you know, I we can probably go through a gazillion films, but it's always like, the side character or someone's mm -hmm. side story. It's never the main character. Uh, talk a little bit about what this movie means to you and maybe some of your family members, friends, the crew saying like, I wish I had a movie like this growing up or I wish I could have seen myself in this kind of aspect where I'm the main character. I mean yeah, I mean, I, I uh, yeah, so that, that there, there's been a lack of, of stories and a lack of representation and a lack of uh, uh, the opportunities for us to be the heroes in our story. So it was really cool to, to be able to do, to do that with this movie and for us to kick butt, to have fun action scenes and like just, uh, and also have different sort of emotions. So yeah, it, it's really important for me to, to tell stories in this space where, uh, you know, Latinos can be seen as the heroes and also as complicated figures. And, you know, not everybody's perfect. We have also bullies that are Latinos and the teacher and this and that. So it's like nice to sort of show a spectrum of Latinidad if you will. As far as the fight, I've never been in a, in a fight either, but I know there's a couple of things, you know, you're, I'm from Chicago. So it's like, what style of pizza do you like? What do you put on your hot dog? Like those are the things that like get my blood boiling that I'm ready to start a fight on. Like yeah. if you were going to start a fight, what, what kind of gets like Oz is like, okay, this kind of pushes my buns a little oh. too much. Um, uh, two things. I'll give you two things. Messing with my music algorithm. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I think motion smoothing on TV. That makes me want to fight. 
uh, <laughs> real nerd stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk a little bit about the son and father relationship in, in this in this film because I think it's just so wonderful. A lot of you know sons have complicated relationships with their dads, um, mm-hmm. and it just you know talk a little bit about that because that's something that we don't not necessarily get to see all that often. Yeah, it, it was really cool to to get the script and that reflected a, a a father that was there that was available um and that shows sort of a different relationship between father and son and and especially a father that tells his son that it's okay for you to be yourself to be who you are you don't have to be this other person who gets into fights i think that was really important to to show that relationship uh in, in a movie with uh, you know latino dad latino uh son uh was was crucial to me so it was really exciting to, to put that uh, out there in a movie and, and, and sort of reflect that, that version of family. One more thing going back to coming of age movies is oftentimes it's about someone trying to have a romantic escapade, but we got to talk a little bit about the friendships mm-hmm. that we have during that time too, because they change and evolve and every school year, you know, renting a new school year now and people might have grown, might've found new friends, new hobbies and things change. Talk a little bit about maybe this time period and what friendship you know means especially in regards to this movie yeah i mean that's a crucial time period as far as like relationships and i think the bonds you establish are so deep and emotional and i think when there's a rupture like you're moving town they can feel like at that age like the craziest thing that you've ever experienced in your young life so we really wanted to reflect a group of friends that were really tight and um got really lucky with this uh, group of actors that like uh you know, it feels like they've been friends forever, but they met a week before we started shooting. So, you know, I kudos to them. I, I think they did a really great job in sort of like building this this friendship and this group that is the 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 one of the core things about this movie. Wonderful. Well, Oz, thank you so much for your time today. Again, Miguel thank wants you. to fight now streaming on Hulu, and I hope everybody watches it and everyone watches it with their dads. It's also an, an important thing yeah. as well too that I would like to see. I love it. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you so much. <laughs>